What's up guys? Uh, welcome back to the Pickle Vlog. Uh, this episode I'm going to be reviewing the Paddletech EXL from Paddletech Pickleball. The EXL used to be my go-to paddle before I got my head gravity, which I reviewed in my previous video. And this is a little bit more of a power paddle. So I'm going to run you through the specs real quick. The Bantam EXL is 15 and 5 8 inches long seven and three quarters inches thick or wide sorry and then 14 millimeters thick so it's a pretty balanced paddle it is not an elongated paddle by any means and it's just pretty um standard i would say as for performance with the bantam exl i would say it's a power first paddle um not crazy control it's got good control pretty good feel but uh, by no means a control paddle. I would definitely consider this a power paddle. And comparing it to my head gravity, which I've been using for a while now, uh, this definitely has a little more pop off the face. Um, in terms of spin, it does create pretty good spin. Uh, comparing it to the head gravity, nowhere near the spin that the head gravity has, but compared to some of the other paddles I've used in the past, uh, I would say the spin is comparable at least. Um, for control and more of those touch shots, I would say the EXL lacks just a touch. Again, it's more of a power paddle than a control or a touch paddle, you know, and also it's, it's not super thick. So it's not that I'm expecting that amount of control and touch from this paddle in the first place. But I would say overall, it is a fairly balanced paddle. Um, with just a little bit of emphasis on uh, power. Uh, now to factor in forgiveness. Uh, I wouldn't say this paddle is crazy forgiving either. Um, I wouldn't say it's like an advanced only paddle. But again, comparing it to the head gravity, which I've been using over the past two months. Um, the forgiveness on the head gravity is much better much more suited for a beginner however i wouldn't say i wouldn't recommend this paddle to a beginner because based on the price point it's only 99 dollars for a fairly top of the line paddle in my opinion they do have a pro model of this paddle um but this is still a close to top of the line paddle so with that being said you know i would easily recommend this to a beginner um even though I don't think there is necessarily as much forgiveness as, let's say, a head gravity, for example. But if you're getting started, this is a great paddle to um, kind of build up your strengths with, you know. Uh, you'll get touch, you'll get feel, you'll get power, you'll learn to hit those spin shots. So I would say it's a very good paddle for developing your skills, and I would not tell beginners to shy away from this paddle by any means. One last thing that I'd like to touch on with the Bantam EXL uh, is the durability. This is a very durable paddle. Now I've used uh, Selkirk paddles for quite a while and I always get dead spots in those paddles and some of the thicker paddles I, I notice dead spots with. I've had this paddle for a very long time now, um, over a year and a half or so. It's been through a beating and no dead spots whatsoever so i would like to say that is very important in my opinion this is a 99 dollar paddle that is cheap for a top end paddle and the durability is fantastic so that's one more thing i wanted to touch on so now moving into uh giving this paddle some rankings uh for the power category i'm going to give this an 8.5 uh i think that's fair I would say it's power forward, definitely. So it, it's got good power, bottom line. So 8.5. Uh, as for control, um, I'm going to give it a 6.5. It has good control. It doesn't have great control. Um, yeah, it, it's just, it, it's not a weakness of the paddle, but it, it's not a control first paddle, you know. So it's good. It's not great. 
for touch, I'm going to give it a six. Um, you know, it, it's got good feel to it. Uh, it's not uber thick. So you get good um, reaction off the paddle. You know, you, you get good feel of the ball. But it it's not like a soft feel by any means. It's it's a little bit harder, if anything. It's more of a power paddle. So, you know, with that being said, again, just like the control, uh, the touch is good, but it's by no means great. It doesn't jump out off the page at me. Uh, you know, it's more of a power paddle. Moving on to forgiveness. Uh, I wouldn't say this paddle is crazy forgiving by any means, but it's not necessarily hard to hit by any means at the same time. So I'm going to go ahead and give this a five on forgiveness. And then wrapping up with durability, I'm going to give this thing 10. I mean, I've had no problems with durability whatsoever. So overall, my opinion on the PaddleTech Bantam EXL is it, it's a fantastic paddle. You get great bang for your buck. It's $99 for a top-end paddle. The only other paddle I can think of in that um, price range is the Ben John Signature from Franklin, uh, which was also $99. I have not used that paddle, but I've heard great things. So overall, I think this is a great paddle for a beginner to any anywhere, advanced player. It'll work. The paddle does the job. So... So that sums up my opinion on the Paddletech Bantam EXL. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll catch you next week.